We gather here around the Word and the table to be transformed by the Holy Spirit and to leave this a better person to serve God better because we came to this hour of worship. Everlasting God, we have stood on the shoulders of these your saints. They are the ones who first lifted us to the baptismal font and we became one with you. But our primary identity is in our baptism. As followers of Jesus, we are what I'd like to say, folks on the way, up and out. Jesus is calling us out. Are we willing to be transformed by God so that God can use us to transform the world? The question for us is how will the United Methodist Church, or specifically the East Ohio Conference, reach and transform lives in the days ahead? We grow in our faith by accepting the challenge to reach out to others. Local churches are the key. And as we gather in communities of faith, our job is to help people intersect with God's grace so that they can become more like Christ. The church has worked with me, my highs and my lows, always providing um, support, leadership, always helping me discern God's goal in my life. So I'm thankful for the church. God in Christ spared nothing for our salvation. And the only question missionally for the church is, are we gonna spend our time trying to preserve the church as we know it? Are we gonna expend ourselves telling and incarnating the mighty deeds of God. I so very much want the United Methodist Church to be a significant player in this transformational work for the generations to come. Don't you? Friends, this is good news. Christ died for all and was raised for all. You have come to this place that this place might be the launching pad back out because there is a wilderness of God's people in a world that is as ancient as the wildernesses of Isaiah and as contemporary as the ache of Sunday's massacre in Orlando. You were called out of darkness. You were called out of the ways of being that this world knows and has perfected, by the way. How do we live together in, in a society where there are differences, real differences, but, but, but where there is a God who has created us all has invited us all to splash in God's grace and love and peace and justice and hope and salvation. Although we must find ways to move forward in our differences, we remain a United Methodist Church. Aren't you thankful for that? And I want to say on behalf of the 75 orphans in Liberia, at the Bishop Judith Cray Children's Village, we want to say thank you for your support. I followed the faithfulness of this annual conference and, and the stories that aren't told are the stories of heart that have welled up in your congregations and in your communities because you have said, yes, I want to follow Jesus. God is good. And all the time. I'm walking in the light in order that I might bring others to the real light called out and pushed out into the church and into the world may god help us oh by the power of the holy spirit may god help us to show enough in a world of violence loss grief meanness may god help us to be so re-narrated by our God story that we would join God in re-narrating the whole world. Amen.